And you know the story everybody's been talking about for the past week. Nicki Minaj, Megan D. Stallion. Yeah, yeah, the rap beef that got the world on its head. She hit that she bombed first. Yeah, she dropped that hiss and you know said hit dogs gonna holler. And ever since that record came out, Nicki Minaj has been hollering on X on records. Dropped a song called uh Bigfoot to mixed reviews. Some people loving it, you know, some of the some people not not so for it. Some people a little disappointed that some of the hottest bars were already tweeted out before the record even dropped. And some people indifferent about it. Um, my personal critique, not Nikki's best work, but but not a bad diss record at all. Um, I don't think either song is overly impressive, to be honest with you. If I had to pick one that's better, it probably would be Megan Thee Stallion's song. Uh, Nicki Minaj's song is about 4 minutes, 24 seconds. And she's talking for about 2 minutes and 30 seconds of it. Um, so if it was all rap, I probably might lean what I actually told it's Nikki. The rollout wasn't the best. Like I said, Nikki has been tweeting before, after, and usually, you know what I'm saying, when somebody is in a battle rap of this caliber, if you're just still talking, trying to explain everything, if you're explaining, you're losing. I think that's the phrase, and, and it seems like there's a lot of explaining. Um, on top of that, just a lot of corny energy. Um, a lot of people felt like it was uncalled for for Nikki to mention uh, Megan Thee Stallion's deceased mother. But Megan Thee Stallion also brought up Nicki Minaj's family with the Megan's Law line. So it's like, you can't you can't think one is cool and then one's acceptable. Like, this is warfare. You know what I mean? This is a battle. This is all no holes barred. You know what I mean? This is two gladiators in the octagon. Whether they male or female, they, the claws is coming out. And uh, I think right now Megan got the first round. I think Megan's up. We'll see. We'll see what comes next. We'll see what comes of it. I think battle rapping could bring out people's lowest lowest sense of energy. You see, you see the darker side of how people think, um, and what they what they think is funny, what they want to make fun of, what they want to poke at. So I don't think it's good energy for anybody. Um, but hopefully they both could capitalize off it. I mean, Nicki has a banger of an album. She has a tour coming. Megan the Stallion. Let's see what you could drop album wise. Let's see what you could do. My advice would, to Nicki would be to like to move on from this. But she might feel like she has something to prove. You know what I mean? A lot of people think that she, you know, she did a thing with against Little Kim, but she was a no show in a battle against Remy Ma. And even with Cardi, I think a lot of people, you know what I mean, are still 50 50 with that one. If this is really going to be a proving ground to, to, to prove what her legacy is, I think it's got to be something harder than Bigfoot to proclaim yourself as the queen of rap, to proclaim, you know what I mean, that you're on top of the game, which I feel like you are statistic wise. I feel like you are in terms of accolades. It remains to be seen exactly what she could do at this level. Perfect Talk is what it do. It's your guy DJ Playboy holding it down for the Perfect Talk podcast, man. Thank you so much for checking out this short clip. If you like what you see, go check out the full episodes right there. Also, hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications on. Hop in the comments, baby.